Hey guys, so today we're going to focus on symmetry. What has symmetry and what is asymmetrical? So symmetry is when you fold it in half and both sides are exactly the same. So for example, with my hands, both hands are exactly the same, so they have symmetry. Now, if something was slightly off, like when I normally have my ring on this finger, then that would be asymmetrical. Um, similar to your faces, one side is the same as the other, so then you have a symmetry. When we're drawing our insects in just a minute, we want them to be symmetrical. So if there's an arm on this side, then there's also an arm on that side. Um, same thing with the legs. Um, but the background we're going to do with asymmetry, meaning that it's going to be different all over the place. So let's try that out. Okay, so for our insect, um, you can follow along with this design or you can do your own. Um, we're going to start off with the head at the top. So I'm going to try to make it along this line because it's easiest if um, you're able to see both sides of the line and be able to cut it in half like so. So I made this like rounded um, triangle like thingamajig going on over here. And then I'm going to put this neck, sort of make it like an ovaly, like so. Then maybe go like that. And then maybe put like a circle. And then put this like thing in the like so. Now from here, we can put the little chompers that are going to bite at us. You can put some arms. Try to make the arms exactly the same. So what I like to do is when I start on one side, I do the same thing to the other side. And it's okay if they're slightly off, just try to get them as close to the symmetry, even on both sides as you can get it. Then from this one, let's see, we're going to make this one sort of going downward a little bit. And I'm kind of making these things like, um, just sort of like, like round, like rounded or almost like a raindrop type thing to make them look like these insect legs. And as you can see, I'm just kind of going back and forth, just evening it out, trying to get it as even as I can. And then once I have that, I'm going to put some little, uh, I don't know, like feelers at the end here. And some eyeballs. There we go. Um, maybe some feelers up here as well. Maybe some lines across. Maybe even some lines down here too. Now, if you want to do any um, lines or like polka dots or anything like that, just make sure that everything on one side is the same as the other. So if I were to put a circle, kind of splitting it down the middle, and if I put a half circle on this side, I want to do a half circle on that side. Same thing, half circle, half circle. And then when you color this, make sure to color everything um, with the symmetry. So if it's red here, it's red there. Now for our background, I'm just going to give this guy some grass to play in. Now we want the background to have asymmetry, meaning it doesn't matter that it's um, even on both sides. So I'm just going to start and do some grass, do, 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 some nice long flowy ones, 
And then over here, do some more grass. Ta-da! And see how I have this nice long one on one side and not really much going on over here. Then some clouds in the sky. And since I put it over there, I'm going to put one slightly up so that I know that the symmetry is definitely off and it's asymmetrical. Like so. All right, guys, so I want you to draw that and then give it some color. Let me see what you can do.